So, Ms. Gill, what is black history to you? Black history is an integral part of all history. Black history is a learning tool for our youth. Black history is American history. But black history isn't always told. So let me tell you about the all-black school that brought the first state championship to Midland. First team to bring a championship football team to Midland. We were the first team to bring a state championship in basketball to Midland. Several, several championships in basketball. When you walked in the gym, you had people's everywhere, but you actually had the guys up in the rafters. It's amazing. You never saw that many people in the gym, but they, they was waiting on your game and you hadn't even went to the restroom. Everything the kids did, the community supported them. But that support didn't cross the border of Southeast Midland. Other local high schools didn't even want to play Carver. They, they didn't want no black school to beat them no way. For the amount of students they had, they were supposed to have a better team, but they never did. <laughs> We had a small amount of students, but we had tremendous talent. Segregation kept that talent in their own little bubble. But in 1968, it burst it after the school district integrated and shut down Carver High. Like I say, it was like, almost like pulling your heart out. It was a vital part, like a heartbeat of the community. It made the community start dying out. At one time, we had our own grocery store. We had service station. We had our own movie. And then once you took Carver out, it all changed. Today, the doors to the school may be closed, but the story of Carver is still open to share. I mean, like the coaches and, and, and the teachers, they were like part of the, our family. Mom had to tell me, you better be home before dark because I stay at school or at the youth center with the rest of the kids. I'm glad I went through Carver High School. Yeah, I wouldn't say I wish I went to no other school.